Right, it's Tuesday afternoon and we're gonna head down to San Diego to finish that project that we started over there. It's turning to the weekly routine. Right, another morning. Here's one electric vehicle charging. Hey, someone opened my thing. Uh, someone tried to steal your battery and they're like, <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Worth Stone Guard Black. Good stuff. It's real sensitive to how far you hold the can away from the surface. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just hit all the edges. So when you push it, you don't go all the way down. You kind of like half trigger it, which is weird because most paints you just go all the way down. I'm staying pretty far away from it. That tends to get the most consistent finish. So doesn't that truck know we're filming? Yeah. That should do it. So that uh, gives little, it a little texture. Yeah, these little variances should clean up once it dries a little bit. Guys, today's a uh, good day to vlog in the shop. A lot of stuff happening here, which is good and it's bad at the same time because that means I'm not gonna do as good stuff on my project. But check it out. Got it off of, took the hood off, set it in a shop, and then ran it over it. Awesome. And so that's where all the fresh rust is. Wanna go for a ride? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, sometimes electric cars will make the clutch spin, <laughs> slip. Yeah. It's just a lot of torque. Does it show negative amps? It actually shows them as positive. <laughs> oh, positive. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm so f***ing jaded from my car, you yeah. know? So that's what I was thinking right now. Do you ever hit the top when you're accelerating? Or uh, I have, yeah. Oh, have? yeah. Up hills. Up Pretty hills. much has to be up the hill. <laughs> it feels fast, but it looks fast. Yeah, it feels fast for sure. Yeah, yeah cool. which is cool. And then we can hit the cords here. But before we do that, I just want to show that. Uh, Take a drive. Yeah. He might fix it. He might accidentally fix it. Yeah. How do I close the door? Oh, uh, I usually just, <laughs> I usually open the slider. And, and Watch out. Are there seat belts or what? Yeah. We don't need seat belts. It's time to do the contactor box. Boom. All of these cables need to be connected in there. This right here is, is your friend. This shows you exactly what's connected in there. All right, Friday night. We got so close to finishing, but good, we're gonna have to come back next week. All right, so check it out. Here's an update on the gear. That is the front battery. Um, here's the switch. We put a put a bolt in there so that no one accidentally just turns it on because now that would electrify all of this cables, which is where I was working today. It's called a contactor box, and that's the box where all the magic happens. This is a contactor, this is a shunt. Uh, these are cables going to the motor. These are the cables coming from the batteries. I need to try and shove everything in here, connect it all. These are all fuses, relays. But I was working on that today. There's a lot of activity here today, as you guys saw. So it was really hard to finish this. Here's the back of it. 
This one didn't get any work done this week. Yeah, yesterday I was working on this new battery. Actually, I Instagram about this battery here of these uh, pouch cells. 30S, 1P, uh, five kilowatt hours, something like that. It will do 80 kilowatts of power. So 700 amps, at least 700 amps, 111 volts. I was working on this guy so that we can monitor them because we this actually will run a full car at full power which is pretty crazy and we need to charge them all the way to 4.2 and then put them in a car and go test drive them maybe next week and then there is this project here this project is going to be pretty cool it's going to be a proper baja it's going to have proper baja power and I know what the BW people are gonna say, this ain't right, but once you know the whole story, I think you guys are gonna like it. See that? That's chrome. <laughs> chrome. Chrome. Even the clutch little paddle thing here is chrome. <laughs> um, look at the seats. All right, so another four day week down here trying to get this thing done. I'm gonna turn this light off. Um, right now we're about to head up to Rancho. So we got at least a couple hour drive. Oh, this lens, this lens sucks. All right, Michael, we'll yeah. see you next week. Yeah, man. Hey guys, by the way, I know I owe you a bendy pod update the reason why i haven't updated you guys is because even though we've gained some orders in the last couple of weeks we've also lost some orders uh there's all those people that didn't pay attention to what they were ordering and so they placed claims on an undelivered product right so they're like hey we ordered last week why we haven't gotten it i'm refunding those people or whatever there were just people that got tired of waiting and stuff and so then they're canceling their order anyways as we stand, it's almost the same from the last time that I uh, updated the website and stuff. And so that's the reason why I haven't updated it because it seems like we're not moving. You know, we're not moving up or down. It's just kind of staying at the same. But there is good, good news coming in about one to one and a half week. But I can't, I don't want to say until I'm ready. And so we'll have to wait a little bit more. But it is definitely good news. Trust me on that. So don't lose faith, all right? Okay, guys, see you till next time. See you guys. Today, we're going to show you how to install a chill plate. First thing to do, we have to clean both surfaces. All right, so the next step is to apply the silicone. Black, high-performance RTV silicone. I'm mounting to that controller. Let the silicone set. Tomorrow we'll, we'll install it on top of our controller plate. Alright Michael, this concludes the first week. Let's get out of here, man.